Hey guys, today I'm going to take you through how I do my spinning hook kick. So step number one, same thing as a spinning back kick, which I do have a tutorial for and I'll link it down in the description, is you have to put the leg that you want to kick with behind you. So I want to kick with my right leg, my hands are going to be up here. The first thing you want to do is pivot and you're going to move your upper body around at the same time. And then you want to be able to spot your target. So you don't want to blindly try to kick with your head still back this way. You want to be looking at your target before you kick. So when you pivot and then your shoulders turn and your head turns around and looks at your target. And then the leg that's in the back, the leg that you want to kick with, is going to come around with your hands and throw your kick. So the basics of a hook kick which again, I also have a tutorial for and I'll link in the description down below, is that you're going to bring it out just like a side kick, but it's gonna come out of a little bit of an angle so that you have room to hook through your target. So if your target's right in front of you and you're trying to do a hook kick and you bring it out straight, you're gonna be hooking beside your target. So you're gonna bring it out at a little bit of an angle and hook through. So the same thing when you're spinning around, when you spin here, you're going to bring your foot out at a little bit of an angle here and then hook through just like that. One common mistake that I see a lot of people do, especially if they're beginning with this kick, is that they come around and their leg is straight the whole time. So as soon as they pick up their leg to kick, they pick it up back here, it's straight and it's coming around straight the whole time just like that. Okay. One is you're not going to get a lot of power through that because your power is lost the whole way around. And then also, if you're sparring anybody who actually like knows what they're doing, they see your kick coming all the way around, they're just gonna step out of the way or counter you. So when you do your kick, you wanna spin or pivot on your feet and then bring your leg up in a chamber until you get to facing your target, bring it out and then through. So it looks like this again. You spin, bring your knee up, out and through at the last minute. Also make sure you don't stop at your target, just like with any kick. You're not gonna stop here and put it down. This kick is meant to go through. So that's what you wanna really do. And this is why most of the time you're gonna use a paddle like this or maybe a focus mitt, not necessarily like a hard target, like a wave master or something, because you can't go through that with a spinning hook kick. So you're going to be here. Another common mistake that some people make is that they put their weight on their heel and you're going to lose your balance that way. Uh, you want to keep your weight on the ball of your foot the whole way around. So when you pivot, you're going to come up on the ball of your feet. And then when you come around, you're going to stay on the ball of your foot pretty much until you put the other foot back on the ground. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new martial arts videos coming out all the time. Also comment down below on what types of videos you wanna see next, whether they're tutorials or more training videos or anything like that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.